Hi guys and welcome back. So I'm back today with another tutorial for you guys on this fall look that I'm wearing right now. So fall is finally here. I know it's here because I'm just getting over a cold. I lost my voice for like a week. So that was no fun. But nonetheless, I wanted to come see you guys today to show you how I put this look together. I posted this look on Instagram and Facebook a few days ago and I got some positive feedback from it. Um, some people actually DM'd and inboxed me um, requesting to see the look. So I decided to film it. The only difference is in the photo that I posted, I used black and gold. And in the tutorial today, I used more brown and a little bit of red um, because it's fall and fall is about the warm tones. So I wanted to keep a little bit warm today with this tutorial. So I use brown in this one, but you can use, you can do it either way. It's the same technique, just a different color. That's the only difference. Anyways, enough rambling. So if you guys like this look and you want to see how I achieved it, just keep watching. So as you can see, I'm starting with my eyebrows already done. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer pencil to prime my eyes. Then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm going to use sand right on top of that just to absorb any extra oil that may be on the eyelid. Next, I'm using this NYX palette in Madelines and Macaroons. I'm going to take this peach and brown shade together and use that as my transition color. So I'm going to place that a little bit above my crease. Next, using a different palette by NYX. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but this, it'll be in the description box. I'm using this peachy type shade and I'm going to use that right below what we just laid down, but still a little bit above the crease. Next, I'm going into this dark burgundy type shade. Now you have to be careful with applying shades of red to the eye because it can start to look like a bruise, like someone punched you in the eye. So. It's very important not to get too carried away because that's that's not what we're going for in this look today. Then we're going to go back again and use the transition color right on top of the burgundy just to transition it a little bit better. Then going into this liquid metal eyeshadow by Catrice, I'm going to use that in the outer corner of my eye and focus it there. Then I'm going to start bringing it into my crease, but leaving the middle of the eye completely naked. So I'm going to just wrap it around and bring it to the inner corner. So you only really want it on the inner corner, the outer corner, and right in the crease, but leaving the middle again completely naked. Then I'm going to go back with that burgundy shade again, just to blend out that brown and blend the brown and the red into each other. Next, I'm going in with a little bit of black because the brown isn't quite as dark as I want it to be. So I'm just going to apply just a tiny bit of black um, on the outer corner and bring it around again into the inner corner. Then, of course, we're going to go back and blend that out again. Next, using this Revlon Eye Art applicator, I'm going to use the glittery side and apply that golden shade right in the middle area that we left completely naked. Then we're just going to smudge it just a little bit into the brown shade just to give it like a gradient effect, kind of like it's fading out. Then we're going to go back with the brown eyeshadow again and blend out the edges just so that it transitions very flawlessly and there's no harsh lines there. Next, using this gel eyeliner by Maybelline, I'm going to use this to line my eye. Then I'm going to go in with this liquid liner by NYX just to clean it up a little bit and make it a little bit more precise. I'm going to apply that right on top of the Maybelline. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Then using this mascara by Rimmel, I'm going to use this to coat my lashes. Here 
here I'm going in with some false lashes. These are by Lily Lashes. And these are my first pair of mink eyelashes. And I don't know why I've been asleep so long, but I finally got it together. It's my first pair of mink lashes and I fell in love. This is how it looks with one eye done. And this is how it looks with both eyes done. Next, I'm moving on to this primer by Revlon. I'm going to use this to prime my skin. Here, I'm going in with Milk of Magnesia, but I forgot to show the camera the product. But you all know what it looks like already. I've only used it in like all my videos. <laughs> Next, I'm using this uh, liquid foundation by Maybelline, the Fit Me Foundation. And I'm going to dot that all over my face. And then using this Real Techniques brush, I'm going to buff it into my skin. Next, I'm going in with this liquid foundation by Revlon. I'm going to apply that right on top of the Maybelline. Next, moving on to highlighting, I'm using this concealer by Revlon. And I'm going to apply that on the high points of my face, which will be uh, under my eyes, down the center of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And using this beauty blender, I'm going to go in and just blend it out. Next, using this 3D face creator, I'm going to use this to contour. So I'm going to apply it in the hollows of my cheeks. Also, the outer portions of my face, uh, on the sides of my nose, and also underneath my jawline, just to sculpt the face a little bit. Next, using this setting powder by NYX, I'm going to go in and set the highlight. So everywhere that we have the highlight, we're going to use this to set. Then we're just going to make some silly faces because we look absolutely ridiculous right now. <laughs> now using the foundation brush again, I'm going in to just dust away um, that powder. Next, I'm going to go in and apply the same brown shade that we have on the upper eyelid. We're going to apply that to the lower lid. Then using the same mascara, I'm going to use that to coat my lower lashes as well. Next, using this highlighter by Ruby Kisses, I'm going to use this to highlight my face. So I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, also on my cupid's bow. And then we're also going to highlight the brow bone as well. And that's just going to make the eyes pop a little bit more. Here on the lips, I'm using a new color by Ruby Kisses, but this look will also look nice with like a vampy lip, um, maybe like a dark brown or a dark burgundy, but I prefer nude lips on myself. And there you have it. The look is complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, guys. So I really hope you get. So. So.
So I'd rather... 